Hello friends. So today in this video, we can discuss the top five web Chrome extensions I generally used on a day to day basis. So all the links of these extensions will be in the description box. So you can check those uh, like extensions out. They are very cool. So let's start from the first extension. So the first extension is I hope like maybe you know all of these extensions, no problem. But I generally use them on a day to day basis. That's why I'm making a video on it because I thought that other than coding, I have to also put like some interesting stuff. So the first Chrome, like Chrome web store, like you got, you can go to the Chrome web store. I can also link down all the Chrome, uh, like extension in the description box. First is this, which is like YouTube playback speed control. So I hope you know that if you open some YouTube video like this, I can try it out. Like if you have some YouTube video like this, and uh, if you want to like, uh, like play it up on some speed, okay. So if you play the video out, then like the maximum speed you can get is like around like 2x. Okay. But now maybe you want to play this video on a more faster pace. So if you install this web application, then what you can do here is like there's a like this pop up type of thing in which like you can increase the speed of this video up to like whatever value you can get. As you can see, it is now working on like 3.5x. So that's a very cool thing because if you maybe, maybe 2.5 is not like too slow for you. So you can also increase the speed by this. So it's a very cool web application. Uh, second is uh, email tracker for Gmail. So like maybe you are also a college student or maybe else and you want to generally like you generally send like mails on Gmail and you want to know that whether the recipient has actually opened the mail. Okay, maybe it happens a lot of time that you have sent the email and you do not know that whether the recipient has opened the email or not. So in that case, this web application is very important. So it actually, it's just like a trigger in your email. So whenever the recipient open the email, like you get an email back that yes, the recipient has opened the email. So it's like a double tick, like this type of thing. So when you get a double tick, it means that the recipient has opened the email. So it's very helpful to know that whether the receiver has opened the email or not. Maybe it happened that you have sent the email for five days and you haven't got any reply. So it doesn't mean that the recipient has not read the email. It, it might happen that he has read the email and he has just ignored it. So or he might get busy or he just forget it. So you can also send a forward uh, like follow up email or, or like some, something like that. The next uh, like uh, web application is like one of the favorite of mine. It's called the dark reader. So suddenly a lot of like subscribers and one of like a lot of my friends actually ask like how you turn your screen into a dark mode. So this is the web application. You generally just use this web application and uh, you just turn it from on to off and just automatically make every website of you in a dark, dark mode or not. So it's very helpful for me. So like you can use it and it's very helpful. Yeah. The next is Keepa. So it's an Amazon price tracker in which like you can see from the screenshot, let's assume that you are buying something from Amazon and actually in Amazon, the price fluctuates a lot. Okay. So what you can easily do here is like, maybe you want to buy some earphones. Okay. Just take this, just take the earphone link, just go on Amazon and take the original link, whatever earphone you want to buy and paste in this Keepa. Okay. I can also show you just place that dash link in Keepa and it will tell you what is the regulated, the maximum or the lowest price for any of the product in Amazon. Okay. And that can actually help you to actually find out what is the least price for any model. So as you can see that I have actually bought a ukulele a uh, few days back. And as you can see, what is the price fluctuation for that ukulele? Okay. I can take you down to that page. So what you can see here is uh, maybe if you are not visible, you can like change the dark mode. Maybe I can make it off right now. Yeah. So what you can see here is like the price is like on these days it becomes like 25,000, 2,500. Then it drops down to like 21, 2,200 on, on certain day. The minimum is like, like 2,100. So what you can do here is like, you can put a trigger price, like at any price, if the price hit, as you can see, like today it is on 2,100. Okay. So if any day, maybe the price hit this target or this target, you can put a trigger, then you will get an email that, okay, today the price is this. The highest price it can go is 20, like 2800. So you don't want to buy, uh, like maybe you open that day and it is like 2800. So you type that like the ukulele is uh, for that price only, but the, the lowest price is this. So you can put a trigger and then you can buy it at the cheapest cost possible.
Okay. So as you can see that just with one click, it converts from dark mode to light mode and so on. And the last is uh, also one of my like favorite. It's the ad blocker. Like most of you might use ad blocker, but this ad blocker I personally use because one great feature of this ad blocker is it actually block the ads of YouTube also. So it means that, okay, on different websites, it actually blocks the ad and it's very fine. But on YouTube also, it, it actually blocks the ads and it's very helpful that maybe you are watching any video. So and the entire YouTube, if you watch uh, YouTube on Google Chrome, then you will not encounter a single video ad also, like not a screen ad, but also in videos, you, not, you do not encounter any ad. So the videos are all ad free. Okay, I hope you get the point. So it's like a buying a YouTube premium subscription, like so, sort of that. So I hope you get uh, a gist of how all the five Chrome extensions I generally used. So you can also give them a try. And if you have more interesting like Google Chrome extension, you can put down the links of those on the name of that in the comment box. I will also feel free to make another video if you if I gathered about a lot of new Chrome extensions. Okay. Okay. So I'll see you in the next one.